First of all, welcome, Jalen. The first thing I want to talk to you about, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yep. You wore a suit to Dallas yeah. that not many people can pull off, no but doubt. you pulled it off. Yeah. Tell me about the suit that you were wearing. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I mean, like you said, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I always try to, uh, you know, support our women. I was raised by women. Um, my mom and my aunt and my grandmother raised me. They didn't have breast cancer, but uh, they had friends that had it. You know what I'm saying? Me knowing them growing up. Right. Um, I had friends that had it. Uh, well, friends, moms that had it um, in high school. So uh, it's, it's always been something, you know, I always, you know, just show that little bitty support. You know what I'm saying? And why not by wearing a hot pink suit? I'm sure a lot of people appreciated that. Yeah, yeah. Um, you went a full year without playing. It was October since you played your last game. Yeah. How did it finally feel to hit the field and play for the first time after being out for so long? From not playing that long, I kind of went through a stage, a time where I was like, I felt like I let my team down. I felt like I let my coach down. I was letting my family down, you know what I'm saying? I, like, but I, you were injured. I was injured, but I feel like I always been that glue, you know what I'm saying? So. Just being back out there, it was electric to me. How was that first hit, that first collision that you had? Do you remember which was the first collision? Yeah, I do. What, what was that? It was the... Um, it was the touchdown. Yeah, it was the Tavon Austin one. Yeah, because I watched it. It was the Tavon Austin one. I watched you that game, and I know that that was your first collision. That was my first collision. But talk about that a little bit. Uh, seen him, he hit the hit the little reverse or whatever. I got off the block, and I mean, he was already in the end zone. We still got to give him a little contact. You never know what the ball may do. You know, I hit him and head kind of rang a little bit. Head kind of <laughs> rang a little bit, kind of woke me up. But then after that, it was I was ready to go. Did you have any ill effects from uh, playing Sunday night? Did you wake up the next day feeling bad? How, how's it going right now? Yeah, I definitely woke up uh, sore, super sore actually. Um, I mean, but I go through my recovery. You know what I'm saying? Ice tub, hot tub. You know, get my massages, get my acupuncture. I go through my normal routine, and uh, I mean, as the, as the week goes on. Um, you know, you usually feel better. Your team sits now at three and four, yeah. and a lot of people think the sky is falling. Yeah. Can you tell us something to make us feel better? I, I can tell you that uh, this team is coming in every day ready to work. We know our circumstances. We know the standard that we've set in the past, and we know that we're not living up to that standard. So I can tell you now that this team knows that, and this team is eager to get back there this Sunday versus the Buffalo Bills. You had one of the best interceptions I've seen all year. Appreciate um, it. The playing of the ball in the air, the recovery on the play. Just take us through your assignment and what happened on that play. Well, it was a uh, cover three scheme, but they were running out of that front the whole game. It was putting Tavon in, bringing the tight end over, and they were running the ball mm -hmm. opposite side. Tavon comes out that play, and uh, he's literally four yards wider than where he was regularly. And this time, instead of him looking down at his blocking assignment, he looked up the field. So in my mind, I'm thinking like, why would he be looking up the field? Something just triggered in my mind. Why would he be looking up the field? The tight end came over and the tight end was lining up half a yard from the tackle. He was a full yard away from the tackle. So now in my mind, I'm like, oh, this is pass. Still reading my keys though, still playing the run because they've right. been running it. And as soon as Tavon Austin, he didn't block down, he went up the field. I shot to the sideline. Knew he was going down the field. I knew I had a middle field safety, so I didn't have to stick him right on his hip. So I shot straight down the sideline because now we're going to sandwich him. Right. Dak threw the ball, tracked the ball the whole time. Coach so always teaches. Ball. Yeah, high, high point, get at, at the highest point. Now you're traveling to Buffalo. Yep. Um, you got some tough guys there to deal with. John Brown, yep. Cole Beasley, you're used to him. Yep. How difficult is that assignment that you're going to have in Buffalo? Um, it's, it's a different dynamic of a series that we played last week. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? A little bit shorter guys, quicker, faster guys. The thing with that is uh, you just got to try to cover those guys up. You got to try to make the quarterback feel as uncomfortable as throwing it to those guys. You know what I'm saying? Where he can't actually see those guys and, and, and we got to switch our looks up. Now, this guy is a quarterback who can run the ball and he has a big one. He can make all the throws. So we just got to cover those guys up really good. How hard has it been for you? Like watching your guys play, yep. and they've given up a lot of big plays, yep. and you knowing that you healthy can help these guys out. How tough is that when you're watching that? Um, it, it was very hard, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a competitive guy. I want to be out there every single play. I wish I could play offense and special teams if I could. It was definitely hard, you know what I'm saying? And, and me just being back, uh, being able to provide that energy, provide that juice, and, and, and be an extra guy in coverage to help the secondary and the defense out, I think it's, it's, it's a lot for me.